So let's delve into the political situation in River State. And we're being joined on the News at 10 by political affairs analyst Jiri Ojoi. Glad to have you on the News at 10. It's my pleasure. Good All evening. right, so let me start by asking, how did you receive today's defection of 27 out of the 32 lawmakers in the River State House of Assembly, dumping the PDP for the APC? For me, it came as a rude shock, um, but uh, not entirely unexpected. Um, why it was shocking was because I thought with the president's intervention, uh, some weeks back, um, the two warring factions will have sheeted their sword and allow peace to reign. But as uh, one of the earlier commentators said on ground in Patel Court, uh, the fact that APC last week or thereabouts dissolved its um, uh, River State um, State Working Committee uh, was a prelude to what we saw today. In which case, um, they, they knew, they had it in the offing that uh, these lawmakers were going to come. And so they dissolved the State Executive Council and believing that uh, these people will be accommodated in the, in the new executive that will be put, to, put in place in days to come. But this, this is just going to allow the crisis to fester, uh, given the fact that as it is now, we, we are having a lot of monumental losses. Uh, I don't know how the uh, governor of the state intends to present uh, his um, 2024 uh, appropriation bill of 800 billion. Will he present it to the four lawmakers uh, who are left because now 27 has defected, one has died, and so the a year uh, uh, faction has only four lawmakers with them. So. Will it be proper, and can you say uh, lawmakers, uh, four lawmakers can legislate for the, uh, um, for the state out of 32? So uh, that's the conundrum. And for those who are saying uh, the seats have been declared vacant, it's only the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, according to Section 109, Subsection 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, has altered. It's only the state speaker, uh, the state assembly speaker, that can write officially to INEC to declare those seats vacant. Will uh, the uh, here faction, constituting just four people, be in a position to write the INEC chairman to declare these seats vacant? So um, it's thrown more questions than answer, but I think this is something that leaders of thought in, in River State should mediate and allow uh, sleeping dogs to lie. I mean, uh, yes, on weekend, the godfather of reverse politics as of today said, the rift is as a result of the political structure that the governor wants to hijack. So right. if it takes the mediation of elders, uh, both partisan and non-partisan elders of River State, something should be done quickly before we start losing lives in Permit, permit me to come in there. Of course, uh, River State, we know uh, that the House of Assembly has a long history of political crisis, but some observers think this is coming in too early in the administration of Governor Simnalai Fubara. Do you think so? Do you share this thought? Very well. I mean, <laughs> there's no two way about it. This is an administration that is barely six months old, and you are already in a crisis situation like this. Uh, so it, it, it portends ill wind that blows no good uh, for an administration in its infancy to have this kind of political crisis on its plate. Uh, like I said, it's going to impact on governance already. The, the, the arson that took place on the status of assembly will cost perhaps billions of naira to fix. Recall that on the 30th of October, uh, the dawn of 38th, the status of assembly was set on fire by our known arsonist. So that is already an economic loss. And then you have scenario where there have been allegation of assassination attempt on the AE's uh, group, uh, the speaker uh, of the four four member group. And we don't know what fallout will come in the days to come unless this is quickly checkmated. 
Then we now have the security agencies allegedly taking sides, and that is not good for, for the image of the Nigerian police. So the bottom line is that I will still make appeal to leaders of thought, um, both in APC and PDP, uh, to, to quell this fire before it consumes our lives. Yes, properties have been lost, uh, time has been lost, but more importantly, it's impacting negatively on governance in the state. Oh, definitely. So have to it's too early in the day to have this kind of crisis on your hand. All right, Mr. Julio, your political affairs analyst, we thank you for your thoughts on the News at 10. My pleasure. Always a pleasure. Have a great day.